while Abdul Baha was living in a Paris hotel. Among those who often came to see him was a poor black man. He was not a Baha'i, but he loved Abdul Baha very much. One day when he came to visit, someone told him that the management did not like to have him, a poor black man, come because it was not consistent with the standards of the hotel. The poor man went away. When Abdul Baha learned of this, he sent for the man responsible. He told him that he must find his friend. He was not happy that he should have been turned away. Abdul Baha said, I did not come to see expensive hotels or furnishings, but to meet my friends. I did not come to Paris to conform to the customs of Paris, but to establish the standard of Baha'u'llah. This story shows that we all have a role to play in breaking the chains of oppression within our spheres of influence. We must not fall into the blind imitation of society's standards, but rather elevate ourselves to conform to a divine standard, which is the only means to bring about true unity. We must be sensitive and have our eyes and ears open to the social discord around us and reflect on where we stand in the grand scheme of things. For we could be unwitting beneficiaries of an ongoing oppressive system. We could be perpetrators of hate and racism, or we could very well be the victims of an unjust system. Either way, regardless of where we stand, we have to examine our biases and the preconceived notions we have developed in our lives. It is not enough to say we are not racist. Rather, we all have to be active agents of change. It is not enough for just one race to make the effort, or for just the affected to address the situation. The unity of the world is within the influence of all of our actions, no matter how small. Let neither think that the solution of so vast a problem is a matter that exclusively concerns the other.